Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to the Game of Games, the sequel update. Yar matey! It's time to get a pirate costume for Nelson Muntz. Okay, now click on that kid with the shirt that's too small and select the dialogue option. I'll key haul the lot of ye if ye don't get to lashed in together a seaworthy vessel. Wow, it's working! He started building the raft! Who knew that maritime base threats could be so effective? Yay, it's not Flanders! What is happening again? Yar, I be looting that lunch money from ye scurvy sea dogs. Pirate Nelson! Really, really close! Two more characters to go! Before I complete the set and wrap this all up. Alright, I've had a bit of a late start, but I believe I've caught up to the rest of you in Chunky Island. Any insights? I've created a child utopia, free of adults, where all kids are treated equal and none are made fun of. How does that help us? The goal of this is to get off the island. Oh, there's a speedboat hidden in the skull shaped cave off of the north end of the island. But I choose to stay with my fellow compatriots. Martin, you realize Chunky Allen is just a simulation, right? So is everything in our world. Haven't you been paying attention? Drugs. Fair enough. Let us... Find Nelson. They should be around here somewhere. There they be. If you don't recognize this costume, this is actually in a Treehouse of Horrors episode. I like to cry at the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. Oh. Alright, hand over the booty. And by booty I mean lunch money. But I don't have any lunch money. And my mom says I shouldn't show my booty to anyone except my doctor. Yar, I probably just didn't care for Scallywag's excuses. Hold on, Nelson. Are you dressed up as your character from Chunky Island? Aye. The life of a pirate suits me. Pillaging and plundering and the like. Seems a lot like your normal life. Aye. Just with an eye patch and less depth perception. Walks in the post. He would have been a fine pirate back in the day. Pirate Nelson loot the kids his lunch money and kids hide booty from Pirate Nelson. They're talking about lunch, buddy. Nelson, did you steal flamingos from Mother Yard? Steal? Nay, I plundered him. Gasp. A maritime tacticality, the bane of all principles. Sigh. You're free to go. Yo ha ha! That's clever. Yo ha ha. I like to cry at the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. Where should my next horn swaglin be, you scurvy sea dogs? Shiver me timbers. I've never heard such a good pardon from a landlubber. Who says I'm a landlubber? I've sailed the seven seas as long as any... At least virtually. My, my. I see you're no average swill drinker. You know. I hear an opening on me crew. Five doubloons to Fortnite. What say ye? Sink me. That's no small bounty. Yar, I'll just need you to show me that ye know how to handle yourself as a buccaneer. <laughs> that, that's not a voice I can do very often. Pat Nelson prove his pirating skills and then sea captain, which of course, they'd have to be implemented into this questline somehow, right? Approve Shanty. We got a first animation and we see both animations in here. Let's check out the first one. Prove his piloting skills. Right after you move just a little bit. A little bit more, please. Say, see, ball. Oh, we can't sheath his sword. But outside of that, he makes a fine pirate. I like to cry at the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. Ahoy! 
Here we are, ye powder monkey. This is a houseboat. Aye, fast is in a briny deep. You gotta start by swabbing the deck. Swabbing the deck? I thought I was your first mate. Yar, you gotta start at the bottom and work your way up. Blimey, how long is this gonna take? A few hours if you know what you're doing. Start at the bottom deck and work your way up to the top. Proper swap in order, that is. Oh, he tricked Nelson into cleaning his house. We got another animation, which makes three animations, although one of them might only be just for the quest line, which would bring it back down to two. And remorse. He seems to be a little bit lost, but I think he's figuring out finally where the ocean is. Oh, he teleported. Which means that if he's going to be at a sea captain's boat, it would be right here. This is not what he expected, you know. Also, sea captain is talking about different levels. He only has one. The bottom. I gotta say, this is a really, really clever animation. Really clever. I mean, there's not much to the animation, but creativity-wise, this is really, really good. That's how we do it, last summer style. Heave ho, lad. You about finished up? I'd rather be cleaved to the brisket. Well, you've got the terminology down, that's for sure. When you're done, go ahead and batten down the hatches. Be there a storm coming? My ex-wife, same difference. I like to cry at the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. I've seen better swabbing jobs, but it is only ye your first day. I am sure you'll stop build sucking in no time. That's it. I'm sick of your yards and your whores and hang them up from the yardarms. The ship is mine now. Push your sea captain overboard. Falling. Mutiny. Commandeer the houseboat, he finally gets his dream. I like to cry at the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. If you had told me the part Nelson would probably take sea captain's boat, I probably wouldn't have believed you. Say sea ball. But now it's happening. And this here will be the galley, and over there, that's where I hang the jib. Wow, those places all yours? Aye, until next Wednesday. What happens then? The dockmaster comes around collecting mooring fees. I'll not be surrendering my copper to the likes of him. I like to cry at the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. So, you're not worried about the sea captain coming back to take back the houseboat? There is no way the sea captain is coming to take this houseboat back. Are she blows! Well, I think that's over. Come take his houseboat back. I'm on it like barnacles on a hull. I ain't at citrus for weeks, and I'm raring for a kill. Avast, ye scurvy carouser. You're really stretching for pirate trims you haven't used yet. And hand this ship, or else dead men will tell no tales. That's not even what that means. Okay, fine. Give me my ship and I won't tell your mom. Grumbles. Fine. So at the end, Sea Captain was a snitch. How dare he do that? So that is both animations for Pirate Nelson, though also voice, which I did not see coming. The quest line was really, really fun as well. I had a blast trying to do the Sea Captain's impression or trying to do something like that. And outside of that, I mean, this is a great character and especially the fact that they're free. In my opinion, pretty much the perfect character. The only thing that would have made it absolutely perfect is if they came with some sort of building or something of that nature, not just a standalone character. But, all good. Let me know down below what you think of Pirate Nelson and I will see you soon with more in the Game of Games the sequel update. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.